What is up guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. We are here at the RC Pro Series Finals. It's main day. I didn't record anything on Qual today because I was trying to Qual really. <laughs> I drove my little heart out and I still didn't make the A&E buggy. Uh, it was tough. Uh, competition stout. Everyone's out here or some people are out here doing track walk. Uh, sometimes I'll do a track walk and usually you want to like try to find the bumps and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm just out here trying to have fun this weekend. And it is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. A really competitive driving, everyone's super fast, and a lot of shenanigans. And yesterday was nice. Like I didn't record, I kind of just sat out. I was, I was hanging out with a whole bunch of subscribers. Big shout out to all the subscribers who came out to visit, uh, talk to all those guys. And today, what I'm gonna do in this vlog is I'm going to answer all the questions that I get a lot on the weekend. So stay tuned. Guys, hold on, check this out. We're, ad we're addicted to this banana bread. <laughs> I just, oh, I just bought 10 loaves of this banana bread. Absolutely amazing. Evan ate the four that I bought yesterday. So we bought a lot of banana bread and it supports a local racer, so it's awesome. just finished my e-buggy main and it did not go very well. I made a smart decision of deciding to go with M4s because I thought I could get a little bit more speed and they did not feel as good as the M3s. It was super cold this morning, but now it warmed up. So this was an awful tire. It was really hard to drive, but who cares about that? We did win. We won these in the raffle. We won in the raffle again. These are awesome. This is actually what I wanted. These are awesome tools. I'll put a link in the description below. Oh, I got my camera rig all set up. Now we can pivot around. We're about to go out there, answer some questions, ask some questions. Anybody want me to ask a question to Wade? Like, what is he doing? Because he probably doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> no, he has no clue what he's doing. <laughs> All right, we're walking out. So I got a bunch of questions yesterday. Um, a lot of questions that I <laughs> I thought, I assume that people knew, but a lot, I guess a lot of people that don't, or a lot of people don't that don't race. Um, so one of the questions I got were like, how does, how does a race day work, right? So some people came on qualifying day and they weren't sure what was actually happening here. Look, you guys can see the race in the background there. I don't know, it might be too loud. They weren't sure how it worked. So let me explain, I'll try to do it really quick. All right, so we're on the back side of the track now. It might be a little loud, but I think it's kind of cool while I'm talking, you guys can see what's going on. Look, Q-Tip, he's uh, marshaling right now. So the race weekend's actually broken up in three days. Friday is practice day where in most cases it's just that you just practice the track try to get the track down um in some cases they do seated practice where depending how fast you go in practice that's how they put you in qualifiers what qualifiers are qualifiers are usually the second day and on qualifiers you basically drive and based on time they sort you guys so your fastest guy is your top qualifier and second fastest and so forth so qualifying day is just to seed you in the main race. The main race is Sunday, which is what's happening right now. This is the 40 plus, um, 40 plus A main. So these are the top 15 drivers, actually 14. Top 14 drivers in 40 plus. So if you come on a Saturday, it's intense because everyone's qualifying, but nothing really like, no matter what, no matter how you do in qualifying, if you don't do good on your main day, you don't do good overall. Um, and vice versa, if you have a really good qualifying day, or if you have a bad qualifying day, and you do really well on main day, then you're good. Get it, Evan, get it. Like some drivers get mad whenever people take time like that, but at the end of the day, get mad all you want. I'd rather you not get hurt, right, than uh, run out there and uh, get hit by a car. So in regards to marshalling, what happens with marshalling is after your race, you, actually, you have to come out and marshal. Uh, and marshalling is just flipping the cars over. So that's pretty much the outline on a on a race weekend. So your most the day that you want to go if you go to a race weekend is a Sunday. So another question I got yesterday is the different classes. So they have classes separated based on cars. So here's buggy, electric buggy, nitro buggy, and then truggy and buggy. Those are going to be your main your main types of classes at 
big A scale races, but then they have it separated based on skill level. So there's actually three main skill levels. There's going to be sportsmen, which are going to be like your kind of like your basically beginners, your newer guys. And then you'll have your open drivers, which open drivers usually consist of like sponsored drivers that maybe possibly don't run that much. They're not super fast, but they're still pretty quick. Like it's pretty competitive in here. Like I, I run open. And then you have your pro guys, which pro is over here. There's pro electric buggy. Uh, your pro guys are going to be the guys that like do it for a living and, you know, have the full deals, things like that. These guys are the blistering fast guys. This is the most competitive class. So that's how that works. But there's also an added class in a lot of races called a 40 plus class. And that's basically if you're 40 plus in regards, in regards to age, you qualify for that class. So whenever I run 40, oh, I'm definitely running 40. <laughs> Oh man, look at this. It is so beautiful out here. It's like perfect temperature. It's just chilly enough. Like this is like the temperature I like. I think it's probably like 60 something degrees. But look, the kids are out there playing. It's kind of winding down. I'm a little exhausted, but the last thing I want to talk about is the difference between a sponsor driver and a pro driver. So I did get this question this weekend and I kept saying sponsor drivers are in open and pro drivers are in pro. Um, so there's this this could be like a debate um, there could be different opinions on this but a sponsor driver to me is someone who gets assistance like like discounts on certain products and a pro driver is someone who either gets a hundred percent deal or gets paid to do it they actually do it for a living so even like at the big races like the dirt nitro challenge or some of the bigger national races they will actually say it explicitly if you got like a 50 to a hundred uh, 50 to a 99 percent deal you're an open driver and then if you have a hundred plus which plus would be like a budget where you get 100% or they uh, give you a certain amount, 200% or whatever. I don't know if I explained that well, but that's how they differentiate pro and open. So yeah, that's the last thing. I uh, hope you guys liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.